Hey, Leo. Thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Cross watchers, welcome. With that being said, let's hop into the spread. All right. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Leo? The overall energy for love and romance. Okay. We have dream. And what is the current situation with love and romance for Leo? What's their current romantic situation? Okay. The truth. You know, like there's that saying, like, what is it like? The truth will set you free. And I think it's interesting right now that you guys have the dream as your overall energy. So let's keep going. What is currently blocking Leo and their situ and their partner romantically? What is the current block with their romantic situation between Leo? Okay. Magic. For some of you guys, like, I don't want to say this, but some people, you know, like, there's that saying, right? Like, happy Jose and hating and hating Jose and happy, right? It's like, Leo, if you're doing really, really well right now, and I know I'm going to get a hell of a ton of dislikes because it's Leo, right? And it's like, every, it, it's almost like everybody hates Chris, but it's kind of like everybody is jealous of a Leo. There's like 10 more dislikes. Fuck it, YOLO. But um, I feel like for you guys to be 100% honest... I feel like when it comes to you, there's a lot of jealousy and there is a lot of fixation when it comes to you and whoever you are dealing with. Um, what is an unknown influence here for their relationship with their person of interest romantically? Trust. There is some type of process, I feel like, or some type of cycle that you guys are going through. And I do think it is kind of like a transformation. And it also is like that butterfly effect, right? Um, let's see. What's the best potential outcome here for Leo and their person of interest romantically? Leo and their person of interest romantically? Okay. Acceptance. All right. Overall energy is dream. I feel like it's a multitude of things, right? Because we have Leos from both sides. I feel like right now it's kind of like a dream state where... You're really trying to make your dreams come reality, right? And for some of you guys, you're having frequent dreams or you're having frequent um, thoughts or even downloads. Like in the comments, how many of you guys ever get downloads? When I say downloads, I mean to the extent of like you're randomly doing something and then all of a sudden you have all this information on what your person is doing or whatever. And then it's like, where did that come from, right? Um these are downloads, but I feel like you're being shown things in your dreams. And I also feel like you're being guided in a very specific area. Why is dream here for the overall energy for love and romance with the page of wands? I also think too, for some of you guys, you guys are having very sexual dreams, page of wands. That's definitely a message. Um, a message of, you know, wanting a level of intimacy. This can definitely be dreaming about a new partnership or some type of new adventure um, <laughs> with the two of wands. See, for some of you guys, and this is Mars and Aries, for some of you guys, you have more than one option here. There is some type of duality or some type of choice pertaining to whether or not you guys want a new start or if you don't. For some of you guys, this may even be talking with somebody else possibly a Taurus or a Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio. But I feel like this is hidden. And I'm saying this because you have the High Priestess here with the Queen of Cups. This is always Cancer for me, but it also can be um, Pisces or Scorpio. And then you also have the High Priestess at the bottom, which is definitely Taurus. And I also feel like it's um, Pisces because Pisces, they don't really talk. So I feel like there's a lot of sexual energy this month and there's a lot of energy of wanting to change and wanting to get up and do something, right? It's definitely um, that Mars energy where I feel like you're very assertive right now and there is a level of impulse that's coming in and I feel like it's due to a level of fantasy pertaining to um, intimacy, passion, that type of thing. Okay. What's your overall situation is the truth? What is the truth here about Leo's overall situation romantically with their person of interest? Ten of Wands. Okay, there's Sag. Saturn and Sag. I think the truth is this situation, it's, it's caused a level of, um, one, complications, right? I feel like you guys have been through the gauntlet with this person. And I feel like it's a lot. 
it's a lot for you guys to handle. Even you, Leo, you guys take on so much at all times. And it's like, how much more can you take on before it's too much, right? And I feel like you're starting to understand that this situation, it's too heavy. It's, it's hard. And I'm saying that because you also have the nine of wands here with the nine of cups. It's like you're trying to wait for this level of happiness, but I don't know if it's coming. Um, and I think that for you, you thought that if you stuck it out, if you did the right thing, if you were there, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like you were telling yourself, okay, look, they have a mask on. You're telling yourself that this situation is going to change, but I feel like there is a level of illusion here, right? Nine, ten. That's moon and Sag too. It's, it's, it's also like, here's the thing. I feel like you guys do need a level of space from your partner. I'm going to be honest. And they may even be at a distance from you, but I think you need a level of space because you need to do something that makes you happy. I feel like the reality is Leo, you've been trying to make this other person happy. You've been constantly giving. And I feel like the only outcome that's came from this is a level of fighting and arguing. And I feel like for you, it's too much because there's things that your partner is holding on to you or your partner that no one is expressing, but each of you are not willing to give up. Like there's one thing in particular that somebody is holding on to. And I feel like that one thing, whatever it may be, whether it's, um, you know, an addiction, whether it's, um, you know, I don't know, just anger. There's something here that your person is holding on to that they're not letting go of. One more card here, please, for their current situation, Leo. But I do feel like there's some type of communication that is coming in. Eight of Wands, there's a lot of Sag energy, which makes sense, right? Because the new moon was just in Sag. And this is Mercury in Sag. So there, there's open communication. How does um, how does uh, Leo's person of interest, how do they feel about this, this Eight of Wands? How does Leo's person of interest, how do they feel about this Eight of Wands? Okay, sorry. For some of you guys, this is a Pisces or an Aries that's coming back around or even a um, Aquarius. I feel like you, I feel like your partner's like, oh, I thought that they were done with that, right? Two of Cups. Yeah, there's some type of communication here. This is Cancer Venus. Um, that's making you feel good. How, one more time. How does their person of interest feel about this Two of Cups? King of Wands. So that's definitely you with the Nine of Swords. I think that they're worried right now. What is their person worried about with Leo? The Devil. Capricorn. Aquarius. Scorpio. I think that they're worried about what's going on behind the scenes. I feel like, here's what I think. I feel like with the Ten of Wands, this person, whoever you're talking to has been a burden. I do feel like with the Two of Wands here, there's multiple people here. And I feel like you're kind of testing the waters to see if you want to start something new. But I do feel 100% that you're expressing your truth. I think right now you're seeing things for what they really are. Your current block, it's magic with the Ace of Wands. So for some of you guys, this definitely can be um, somebody that's, you know, very focused or very fixated on you. Somebody that could definitely be um, the other person, right, that's holding on to you. I always get that with this Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands to me can definitely be like the other party, the other person, possibly an Aries or a Cancer. And then you also have the Four of Pentacles here, which is um, Capricorn energy. So I feel like right now there's somebody that's holding on to something when it comes to you. And I feel like that's stopping you guys from moving forward, right? And it's also somebody's incapable of seeing things outside of a box, right? If you believe in magic, like you're a very specific person. Like you're somebody that understands that not everything is as it seems. And I feel like your partner doesn't have that type of like mentality. I also feel like though, there's something here that is being held back on. Like, what are they holding back? Like what, what is being held here? The moon. For some of you guys, it's a Pisces or a Cancer. But I feel like there's something here, Leo, where... Whatever is blocking you, you're going to express it. Judgment with strength. 
you're going to open your mouth and you're going to say something. And I feel like it's because you guys have a very specific need right now that you want fulfilled, but I don't think that you've necessarily expressed exactly what's going on. Okay. For the unknown influences, you have trust. There is some type of process here. Look, with death, there is some type of process here where Scorpio Aries, there is something that's ending so something else can begin, right? I feel like what's ending here is this Knight of Pentacles. So that definitely can be um, Virgo or Gemini. And I feel like what's beginning is this King of Cups. So Scorpio, Leo, Aries. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting that heavily because I feel like that there was a stall prior. If somebody was playing games or if, if somebody wasn't talking, if there wasn't any forward movement, I do feel like that's changing. And I think for you, as confusing as things may be, be right now, it's really about trusting the process, trusting that whatever you're going through right now, it's going to catapult you forward to the next phase of your life where I feel like you are very successful when it does come to love, right? Um, Six of Wands, that's Jupiter and Leo. This is all about growth. This is all about recognition. This is all about taking charge. And... Really, I feel like enhancing not only your self-image, but also your self-esteem. So I feel like this month, you guys have a lot of Mars energy. You have a lot of um, Sag energy. There's a lot of forward movement here, which is beautiful. And I feel like for some of you guys, the veil's being lifted. And I think that you're having to acknowledge something for what it is. And for some of you, there is another option here that I feel like you're curious about exploring. I don't know if you're 100% serious about that because we have wands, right? Page of wands, two of wands. To me, that's very like playful energy. Like, I don't know if I want them or not, but I'm just going to keep them over there just in case. It's like you like to toy with them. But I also feel like there is a whole other relationship here where there is some type of truth of, hey, this is just too much to me. Like for me, there is some type of ending pertaining to either a situation, either to a cycle or a chapter or something. With that being said, Leo, I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.